Hey, Jared here, and I had just done this beautiful recording, and it didn't record properly, so I'm going to do it all over again, and that's okay, because that's how this works. So I'm right now inside of Adobe Audition, and I want to talk about how we can mix and edit a multi-track recording. I'm going to do this as cleanly as possible, so I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to Edit, Preferences, Audio Hardware. I don't know if it's going to allow me to record uh, from two recorders at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record from my, what am I going to record from? What am I going to record from? I'm going to record from my webcam, which is going to be terrible, by the way, but that's okay. I mean, I, no offense to my webcam, by the way, it's this beautiful 4K webcam, so it actually may be amazing. Uh, but let's come over here and see if that's going to be my microphone. So I'm recording with my microphone to record this demo, but I'm going to use the webcam to record. So I need to learn how to mix two audio sources together. So the first thing I need is some sort of a soundtrack. So let's come over here and I'm going to start recording a new WAV file. I'm going to record as 44 kilohertz 16 bit uh, mono. I normally record as 44 kilohertz 16 bit because that's the good old fashioned CD. And I would record stereo or mono depending on what I'm looking for here, but it's the webcam. So boom, 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 boom. There you go. So um, let's take a look at this. Listen to that. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So there's my audio. Beautiful. It loops. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, horrible buzz. Boom, boom. What a horrible buzz. Boom, 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 boom. All right. First things first. Let's see if I can get rid of the noise. So I'm going to highlight some noise, and I'm going to go to Effect, Noise Reduction, Capture Noise Print. Then I'm going to unclick that. Effect, Noise Reduction, Noise Reduction, and let's preview it. Boom, 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 Real mechanical. Boom, 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 boom. But I have a WAV file, and that's all I really needed. Now, uh, reminding everybody that the loudest your WAV file can be would be the normalized volume. Um, this is not where I'm at right now. So if I were to come over here to favorite, normalize to point, negative 0 0.1 decibels, that's as loud as it possibly can be. And it's still, it's way too loud, but I'm going to leave it there because I'm not going to worry about loudness at the moment. I'm going to say, what is the loudest I can be? And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to save this as a WAV file. And I'm going to call this, um, let's uh, save it to the desktop real fast because I really don't care where files go. And I'm going to call this my background music. Beautiful. There it is. Done. Now I need some voiceover. So I can leave the file open or I can I can close it. It um, doesn't really matter. I'm going to leave the file open. I'm going to make a new file, file, new audio file. Again, 44 mono 16. And now I'm going to give myself a soliloquy. Hello. How are you? I am great. Greatness is within me. Greatness and this rhythm of whatever static noise is behind me. Greatness and static noise behind me. All right. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit because this is like crazily zoomed out. Uh, there we go. So that's all I recorded. Hello. How are you? Look at that, that, that beautiful noise. I'm just going to delete all that. I'm not going to remember the noise print on this one. Hello. How are you? I am great. Greatness is within me. Greatness and this rhythm of whatever. All right. So I've got this file. and I'm going to save it as well. And I'm going to call this as my voiceover file. Now, with my voiceover file, I have to be careful. With my music, I'm more likely to build a long piece of music or several long pieces of music together, maybe get rid of some of the, the, the negatives, the, um, the plain space at the beginning. With my audio, I might want to chop it up a little bit better because I might want to, like, slide things around. So, for instance... Um, Hello. How are you? I am great. That might be one file. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on copy to new, which is great. I love that one. So I can come over here and say uh, part one. And then if I come back over to my voiceover, I can click on this part. Greatness is within me. And then again, right click and say copy to new. I love copy to new. It's one of my favorite things. And then I can save that as part two. 
And then for simplicity's sake, I'll go back over to voiceover and I will save the rest of this as part three. And again, this is only if I want to make sure that I can, you know, change things around a little bit. So now if you look, I've got a whole bunch of WAV files. I've got one background music file, but that could be 10 background music files. And I've got uh, three different voiceover files, part of the big voiceover file, that I can rearrange any way I want. Now, I did not normalize these yet. And I say yet, I could normalize them if I wanted to. I do like everything of equal loudness when I start. Just a good habit for me because then I know I can always bring it down without having to worry about it. So if I come over here and I click on normalize, save, and I'm going to do, I'm going to normalize each one. And again, that's just going to mean that I don't have to worry about things being any louder later on. You can always bring it down, but you never want to bring it up beyond this. So when I come over here and start messing with volume or gain, I never want to make it louder than this. That would be bad, but I know anything lower than this is safe and I don't have to ever worry about being higher than that. Let me undo that. All right, so now I've got all my files. Let's start up the multi-track file. File, new, multi-track session. Now when I do this, it's gonna ask me what I want it to call, what I want it to call. This is my big demo. And again, I'm doing 44 kilohertz, 16 bit. And again, stereo in this case, I could do mono, it doesn't matter. Um, yes, I'm gonna overwrite the demo, the demo that I messed up. Now my favorite part of this is that you're looking at is linear tracks. You've got your timeline across the top, and then of course you've got linear tracks. So let me come my my music, my background music, and throw it in there. And the funny thing is, is I can keep throwing it in there, right? I can just keep throwing it in there, and uh, you can see it's trying to do a crossfade there. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let it bump into each other. And again, if I needed to, I could zoom out and I could keep scrolling as I needed to keep going beyond here. I can go as far as I need. So I can keep adding and adding and adding more and more and more. So now I have my background music. And right now it's a little over 35 seconds long. So I don't know if I want my background music to be louder or softer. The cool thing here is, is that instead of changing the individual volumes on all of these tracks, they're already all maximized. And instead I'm going to come over here and I'm going to lower. See, volume is set to zero. I'm going to actually lower that volume. Boom, boom, boom. And, and I can lower it as low as I want. And that's nice, because you never consider something as too low. Too low is just turned off. Now I can come over here to this track, and I can drop in part one, I can drop in part two, and I can drop in part three. And then I can put them wherever I want to. Hello, how are you? Obviously, that's way too loud. So I can drop that as well. I am great. And I'm going to keep figuring out how loud I want to be. Boom, greatness. Boom, 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 and boom, 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 greatness. Boom, 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 and this rhythm of whatever static noise is behind me. Boom, boom, greatness. Static noise. And if I wanted this one to be quieter, I might bring it down to this track instead. And instead of going to negative 10.5, I might go down to negative 15. And the thing about it is, is that these tracks, it's the volume for the whole track. So this is one volume, this is another volume, this is another volume. And it is what you hear is what you get, so I would definitely do this with headphones on. Boom, 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 boom. Hello, boom, how are you? I am great. Boom, 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 boom. Greatness is within me. Boom, 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 boom. Greatness and this rhythm of whatever static noise is behind me. There you go. So I've crafted this and I can readjust things accordingly. There's only two things I need to really readjust and that is where I'm going to come in and how loud it's going to be. So I could literally just slide these back and forth and then again change my volume. Now when I save the project, it's going to go, whoa, 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 your files aren't anywhere near this project. Do you want me to move them over here? Which is generally a good idea because this puts all of your eggs in one basket. And hopefully you remember where that basket is. I'm going to say no because this is a throwaway demo. I can always reopen up this project. I can always go back and adjust things. When I'm finally done, I'm going to export. I'm going to do what's called a multi-track mix down. And when I do that, I'm going to come over here and it's going to be the demo mix down. 44 kilohertz, 16-bit stereo. And when I do that, I click on OK. Yes, you may overwrite it. And then it's going to actually load that in its own file. And you can see this is the final version. Hello, how are you? I am great. And that's how you do multi-track mixing. 
Obviously, you could do a lot better, but this is a real baseline beginning. Learn to use Adobe Audition is very, very useful. The idea being is it is the Adobe audio editing program. It's very much standards based. The thing that you've got to remember is, is to really, I like to look at it as about keeping your each audio file as clean as possible. So every audio file I want maxed out volume wise, I want it normalized. So I only can use that volume and lower. I never have to worry about going, am I being too loud? Normalize takes care of that for us. I'm gonna make sure that I clean up the ends of my audio files so that basically everything comes in at the exact moment. And then I can sort of rearrange things as needed in the multi-track mixer. All right, my name is Jared. I hope you find this video informative. It's not that hard, but it does take practice and headphones. Practice and headphones. You really, really, really wanna be doing this with the headphones so you get a real sense of balance here. It takes time and practice to get a sense of what needs to be louder. Whatever you think, one of the elements is gonna to be too loud and you don't know what it is because you know it too well. So you're gonna play it for somebody else, you're gonna go, I can't hear the words, music's too loud. Or you can play it for somebody else, you're gonna go, music's, I can barely hear the music, the audio's too, the spoken word is too loud. And so you really need to make sure that you heard it and then you really need to try it on somebody else who's never heard the pieces before. That'll make a really big difference as well. All right, if you have any questions, make sure to message me and we'll go from there. Thanks, bye.